And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. We join our veggie friends for their annual Easter tradition. Okay, kids, ready for the Easter egg hunt? Yay! <laughs> I've got my hat. I've got my net. I've got binoculars, metal detector. I'm set for an expedition. I'm a cute <laughs> on a mission. The greatest Easter egg hunt yet. I'm good to go. I'll find the prize. At the safari store I bought out all their supplies. Life will be sweet when my beautiful treat is right before my eyes. My golden egg has my name on it. It will be mine, all mine, all mine. Because I want it. It's there for the picking. From a funnier chicken. Soon I'll darkest jungle there are many scary things i am always on the lookout for whatever bites or stings i run or creep down low i go wherever eggs may roam remember i'm a professional so don't try this at home no luck okay my search will widen to just beyond this lava pit i'm sure that's where it's hiding i overcome each hardship i make it through each mess because i must possess my golden egg has my name on it It will be mine, all mine, all mine Because I want it It's there for the picking From a bunny or chicken Soon I'll be holding My golden egg I missed it Oh look, I found it And now she has her happy hands around it I'm defeated A lot of nothing's what I got But maybe But maybe But maybe I still have my golden egg Thanks to the caring of my competitor Whose heart believes in sharing This foil's made for peeling What a wonderful feeling Cause now we are holding our golden egg This has been Silly Songs with Lenny Tune in next time to hear Lenny say Chicken! Kung Pao, Chicken. Mongolian, Chicken. sweet and sour, Chicken. cashew. Do the mushu, mushu, shu, mushu, 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 Pork! Mandarin pork, barbecued pork. Sour pork, spicy shredded pork. Stop! Break a fortune cookie. Beware of grape with wooden mallet. Ain't that the truth? The bunny, the bunny, whoa, I ate the bunny. I didn't eat my soup or my bread, just the bunny. The bunny, the bunny, oh, I love the bunny. But now I feel sick in the head from the bunny. I didn't eat my salad, I didn't eat my steak. I had too much candy, got a tummy ache. I need to eat good food to help me to grow I'll obey my mama, cause she loves me so Yeah, I'll go to church, and I'll go to school That stuff is important, and I ain't no fool I don't want no pickles, I don't want no honey I just want a plate and a pumpkin and no, a bunny No, 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 girls! No, that's wrong! Oh, well, you're gonna tell get you tummy aches. Now you stop singing that stuff. Listen here, girls. Oh, no. The bunny, the bunny, whoa, I ate the bunny. I didn't eat my soup or my bread. Just
And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. It's Christmas Eve, and Larry is anxiously awaiting the arrival of Santa Claus with a plate of cookies. Oh, Santa, I can't wait for you to come. I just can't wait for you to come. And I've got cookies, three yummy cookies, just for you for when you come, only for you for when you come. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Larry is surprised to be greeted not by Santa, but a crafty bank robber. Who are you? I'm a bank robber! And I've come to rob your bank, yes, I've come to rob your bank, and I've come to take your dimes and swipe your nickels. So stand back, step aside, you silly pickle, and let me in. Although frightened by the intruder, in the spirit of Christmas, Larry makes an offering. I'm not a banker, I have no bank, my robbing friend, but I have cookies, three yummy cookies, and I don't have nickels. But please take this, my robbing friend, eat one of these, my robbing friend, they are for Santa, but you may have one. The bank robber is truly touched by Larry's goodwill, but Larry, although momentarily distracted, is still excited about seeing Santa. Oh, Santa. I'm a robber. I, can't I came wait for to rob your bank. Come, yes, just I came to rob your you bank. And I've got cookies. You shared a cookie. Two yummy cookies. I yummy cookie. Just though I'd love to wait your time. Need for perhaps for another time. time. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Once again, it is not Santa who has come to Larry's door, but this time a savage Norseman. Who are you? I'm a lightning! And I've come to take your land. Oh, yes, I've come to take your land. And I've come to burn your crops and steal your horses. And I've come to step on your chickens and soil your quilts. Hey. Although frightened by the intruder, in the spirit of Christmas, Larry makes an offering. I don't have plans, I don't have props, my Viking friend, but I have cookies, two yummy cookies, and I don't have horses, but please take this, my Viking friend, eat one of these, my Viking friend, they are for Santa, but you may have one. The Viking is also touched by Larry's goodwill, but Larry's thoughts are still with Santa. Oh, Santa. I'm a Viking. I can't I wait to take you your land. Oh, yes, I can't wait to take you your land. I got a cookie. You shared a cookie. A yummy cookie. A yummy cookie. Just oh, for I you, love for when you come. Quilts. Only for I you, for when you I come. Will. Because it's Christmas. Could that be Santa? Could that be him? Could it be the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me? A good cucumber like me. Larry is greeted now by an agent of the Internal Revenue Service. Who are you? I'm from the IRS, and I've come to attack your... Oh, Santa, I can't wait for you to come. I just can't wait for you to come. It's finally Santa. It's finally him. At last, the one who brings presents for a cucumber like me. A good cucumber like me. I'm Santa, and I've come to bring you gifts. Oh, yes, I've come to bring you gifts. And I've come to stuff your stocking. Go, ho, ho, ho. And I've come to jiggle my belly and wiggle my nose. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that my belt? And what are you doing with my hat? So you're the ones. Wait a minute, I can explain. We've changed. Nobody messes with Santa. You know that, don't you? You've been very naughty, and I've got a list. Did you claim that? Merry 
Merry Christmas! And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Our curtain opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out, Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 Having heard his cry, Pa Grape enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Pa regains his composure and reports. I think I saw a hairbrush back there! Back there is my hairbrush. Back there is my hairbrush. Back there, back there, oh where, back there, oh where, oh where, back there, back there, back there! Is my hairbrush? Having heard his joyous proclamation, Junior Asparagus enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Junior regains his composure and comments, Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't have any hair! Larry is taken aback. The thought had never occurred to him. No hair? What will this mean? What will become of him? What will become of his hairbrush? Larry wonders, No hair for my hairbrush. No hair for my hairbrush. No hair, 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 back there, no hair! For my hairbrush! Having heard his wonderings, Bob the Tomato enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in a towel, Bob regains his composure and confesses, Larry, that old hairbrush of yours! Well, you never use it, you don't really need it, so, well, I'm sorry, I didn't know, but I gave it to the peach, cause he's got hair. Feeling a deep sense of loss, Larry stumbles back and laments, Not fair, oh my hairbrush, not fair, my poor hairbrush, not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no wear, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair, my little hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the peach enters the scene. Himself in a towel, both Larry and the peach are shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of each other. But recognizing Larry's generosity, the peach is thankful. Thanks for that hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The peach exits the scene. Larry smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out, Take care of my hairbrush. Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care, take care, nice hair, no fair, take care, take care of my hairbrush. The end. And now it's time for Obscure Broadway Show Tunes with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings an obscure Broadway show tune. Without further ado, from the unknown musical Office Supplies, the heart-rending love song, Where Have All the Staplers Gone? We don't have much time before the big meeting. No. No, we don't. Have you seen the scissors, miss? They're in the bottom drawer. I tried that drawer, but they're there no more. That's odd. I know I thought for sure. Have you seen the masking tape? It's right next to the phone. That's what I thought, but now it's not. Hmm. I guess I should have known. Oh, where have all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? The ballpoint pens are gone again. They're gone again. The stick it pads have lost their stick. Do you remember when the rubber bands were in their place? They're in the middle drawer. Light bulbs easy to replace. Yes, there were always more. Reads of paper raining down. Legal pads aplenty. Highlighters in every hue. Remember, never less than twenty. Oh, where have all the staplers gone? What happened to our paper clips? The 
chocolate toner. Someday we'll find more rocks. Our vanilla folder. Someday my friends will come. Where's the printer cable? Someday we'll find more rocks. Adhesive shipping labels. Tunes with Lead. Tune in for Act Two, Revenge of the Staplers. <sighs> and now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Trapped in the trappings of holiday bliss. Whoa. Wrapped in bright wrappings gone badly amiss. In paper and tape. In a cucumber shape. Oops, I wrapped myself up for Christmas. Oops, I wrapped myself up for Christmas. I didn't mean to do it. Was stuck before I knew it. Oops, I wrapped myself up for Christmas. I think was super sticky. Oh, Somehow when I was packing, I got caught up in the wrapping in the ribbons and bows. The only gift with the nose. Oops, I wrapped myself up for Christmas. Okay, hey, Larry, where are you? Uh, can you help me wrap Junior's present? Here I am. Where? Right here. I don't see you. I wouldn't expect you to. Huh? Why? Why? Ah! Because I... Oh, Larry? I wrapped myself up for Christmas. You wrapped yourself up? Yep. However did you do it? I don't know. Is it tricky to see through it? Yeah. Oh, oh why? Oh. Did you wrap yourself up for Christmas? Didn't do it on purpose. Completely accidental. <laughs> accidental? You do look ornamental. Aw, thank you. Somehow when I were packing, I got caught up in the wrapping. All the ribbons and bows, the only gift with a nose inside. Wrap myself up for Christmas. <laughs> oh, Larry, leave it to you. You're the only one I know who could go and wrap himself up. Really? Ah! Wrap his bows up for Christmas. Sorry. Oh, the wrapping up the school bus. The cucumber confused us. I can't see. And hey, the wrap is closed up for Christmas. Just trying to help, guys. Our anxieties grow. Hello. We can see where we're going. Oh. Somehow when we were packing, we got caught up in the wrapping to Christmas Eve. To repeat the reprise, Larry. Wrap is closed up for Christmas. Bob, Larry. Oh, oh no. I gotta get this wrap. Junior's coming. I'll help. No, don't let him. I've got something for you. Hello? A wee. Wrap it all up for Christmas. Actually, he wrapped me up. Larry. Wrap it all up for Christmas. Hold on, guys. Trapped in the trap beans, a holiday bliss. Wrapped in bright wrap beans, a bad meal mess. We need some paper and tape. This has been Silly Songs with Larry. Tune in next time to hear Junior say... Has anyone seen Pa Grape? Larry, ah. I'm all up for Christmas. Larry, Larry. sorry. <laughs> and now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. There lived a man so long ago, his memories but faint. Was not admired, did not inspire, like president or saint. But people came from far and near with their afflicted pets for a special cure. They knew for sure wouldn't come from other pets. Whoa! Yule, 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 yule,
He's got a little loopy, in case you haven't hoid. Here's a couple penicillin for your sickly arctic void. Mm. No skeptic could explain just how nor could one off three but The wondrous deeds that went on in that little alpine hut. Some would stand in silence while some just scratched their scalps For the curious ways of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps Whoa! Good news on the penguin, Doc! He's up and kicking! Jump in your car, drive into the city, buy a jug of milk for your nauseated kitty. The practice grew, their profits flew until one fateful day. When the nurse who did assist the doc asked for a raise in pay. The doctor pondered this a while, sat back and scratched his scalp, then said... No way, Jose. To the nurse of the yodeling veterinarian of the Alps. Whoa! Good news on the kitty, Doc. She's feeling great. Six kittens. Named one after you. He's good. Now the moral of our story, it's the point we hope we've made. When you go a little loopy, better keep your nurse well paid. Show for you. Still the one for me. The number two silly song of our first ten years, Endangered Love. We join Nanny as he follows the trail. 
tragic saga of Barbara Manatee in the daytime drama, Endangered Love. Barbara Manatee, you are the one for me. Fan from up above, you are the one I love. Please don't cry, Barbara. You're a nice manatee. You've been so good to me. But I must go into the world and do noble things for the good of all. And you can't come because you don't speak French. Au revoir. But if you need me, who will take me to the ball? Who's going to take me to the ball, Bill? I have a new dress and shoes. A new manatee lipstick. Who will take me to the ball? I'll take you to the ball, Barbara Manatee. Please don't go. I must. Don't go. I must. Don't. Must. Don't. Don't. Must. Must. Barbara Manatee, you are the one for me. Fan from up above, you are the one I love. should read a book. Yeah. Okay. This has been Silly Songs with Lamb. Tune in next time to hear Bill say, Barbara, I've learned to dance. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Letty, the part of the show where Letty comes out and sings a silly song. Got the munchies on that fateful night, round 8 o'clock. So I phoned in a pizza for delivery. But I had a feeling that something wasn't right, because I waited for hours and no pizza. I set the table with a paper plate. How would I know that it'd be late? It's taken so long, where could it be? Had a 30 minute guarantee. Pizza Angel, please come to me. Tomato sauce and cheese, so gooey. Pizza Angel, I'm Lost? Did they just forget? Should I have ordered on the internet? Ready for dinner? Now I'm not so sure. I think my soda's room temperature. Pizza Angel, please come to me. Shit.
expectation, but it was the saddest sight I ever saw. I could still smell the sweet aroma of deep dish goodness, but the box was empty. Your house number was broken, so I couldn't find you. I was getting kind of hungry, so I ate, ate your pizza. So, sorry about that. You don't need to tip me or anything. Please come to me Never forget you, Pizza Angel. Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales, Veggie Tales.